Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to create a daily planner using Canva. Yes, you can do planners in Canva too and they have a lot of samples that you can modify and uh, download but today I'm going to show you step by step on how to create your very own designs, uh, daily planner designs using Canva's elements and tools. So let's get on with it. Okay, so today we're going to create this daily planner. Let me zoom it in for you so you can see all the elements. Here we've got the date, the title of our planner, and the dates that, or the days, and uh, some of the other elements that we need on our planner. So let's start. Go to your Canva, and uh, here create a design, and then custom dimensions. And for this uh, planner, we are using the letter size or 8.5 by 11 inches. And then just click create design, and you'll be taken to another window just like this. So first is going to use this text here. Use this, add a little bit of body text and type date. Let's do this, zoom it in. Just move it here. And for the line, we go to elements and just type in line and use this. And it's a little bit fatter or wider than we want. So what I want is a little bit thinner than this one. So just Resize it like this and zoom it in so you can actually resize it this way. There you go. And then just copy this or just click duplicate and enter the days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And highlight everything and click on spacing. Just do this and it will have all this space in between the letters. Now drag this across. There we go. So just make sure that the date and the days are level. So now for the you've got this title, what we're gonna do is go to text and just scroll down and I view I use this one, but you can use whatever default text already that's in Canva. So just use this and we can always uh, change the font also here. So for this one, I'll just use this font and cut this, highlight this one, then enter the size because it's cut a bit. And the other one, just highlight this because we don't need this and then delete. And to resize everything, center it. You can see this line, this horizontal line and the vertical line. So it says that it's centered equally. Now you can change the color, whatever color you want. You can do this or this one. Now for the today, I'm grateful for. So what I did, go to elements and then clear this. Now go to shapes, click see all and use this. Then resize it to just about this size. There you go. And then click on the square and resize it like this. Change the color to white. Put it in the middle. I think we can resize it like this and take the date and duplicate it. And type today. And go to four. There you go. And then just try to eyeball it and center it. I don't know, I think I will want this big bit. There you go. And you can also change the color for this, so whatever color you want. So anyway, moving on, this part must get done today and all this. So just click this one and duplicate it. Must get done 
today. And what I want is to left blind. And I do this again. These are for my tiny boxes or check boxes that will go around here for the lines. Just go to line and click this. You can do this again or easier easier way is just copy this one and just align this. There you go. And move this up. Copy the date. One on it, and I want this a little bit smaller, maybe 10. Nope. Move it to the side. There you go. And what we can do with this one is we group it and then duplicate. Or you can also um, hold down Option key for Mac and then just drag it down. Now, we want this equally spaced, right? So what we're going to do is highlight everything. And then position vertically. And that way, it's equally spaced. Now change this. And group this first. And then change the number. So, and then this one, and group this. C3. Right, there we go. Now we have that part done. Next will be the appointments and to-do lists. So just copy this again. So all you're going to do is just copy and paste everything. Most of the time anyway. And just copy this line. Just duplicate it. And hit it down here. That, and then hold the option key, drag it down, and then do it a few more times. Like this. So let's see, there's going to be two, four, six, eight lines. So two, four, six, we're going to need two more. And highlight everything or select everything, and then position horizontally and vertically. There you go. Next would be the to do list. to do lists okay and we can go to text element again and then just hit on the square resize it to however or however big you want it and I'll put it here just drag this down maybe like this and then change the color maybe a bit lighter or maybe this one and then just Change the transparency because you're going to write on this one, so you don't want a darker color. Now, there you go. And for these notes and doodles, what you're going to do is just copy this whole thing, duplicate it, and drag it here. And let's do this first. Go to notes, doodles. This okay, over here, and then drag this down, three down. This, there we go, and just resize the white white square that we have, and then just do this. Have it now for the health and fitness, the water intake. So, health and fitness, just copy this as they're the same. So, duplicate okay. health and fitness, just resize everything to fit. 
So I'm going to duplicate this. This is for the water intake. Now go to elements, then search for drop. And I'm going to use this one. So resize this one and get it here. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. And then change the color into maybe this or this one will do. And just hold the option. Just, just hold the option key and drag it across. And there you go. And position it horizontally so they're equally spaced as well. Next would be this one. So what I did here is I copy this, resized it like this. Let me resize this too. Okay. Then change the opacity or the transparency to this. Now we copy this one. Resized it. Go. And copy this. And I want this a little bit smaller, maybe 10. And then center it. And then I flipped it. And see the crease. And there. Then I just copy this one. Duplicate this to launch and I'm going to write duplicate dinner and then snacks just to eyeball everything there you go and for the lines this one is just the same line that I'm using here so you can duplicate that and paste it here. Again, resize everything. I'll show you. All right. And I just changed that to a white color so it's more prominent. And then I just drag this. Hold the Alt, uh, the Alt Option key again and then just drag. So there you go. Next is today's achievement. That one is the same as this one. So I'm just going to copy this, duplicate this one, there, and it's out of bounds. I don't need this. You can group that one, and I don't need the checkbox. I can There you go. You can um, resize anything or you can put another element here if you don't want this. And you can also change whatever text you want. And there you have it. You have a daily planner. Wasn't that easy? You can now create your very own daily planner for personal use or for freebie on your blogs or to sell on any marketplaces without relying or paying other people to do it for you. Don't forget to check out my other videos that show you all kinds of tips, tricks, and shortcuts to become your own master designer. 
Start now by subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content-packed videos.